Hello Aries, thanks for jumping on my video guys. This reading is going to be good for August of 2020 for the fire sign of Aries. It may also resonate with the Leo or Sag as well. This fire is also your elements. I have your planet and house card already. I'm going to start you guys off with some astrology. You guys seem to really like these videos here. When I do start you off in astrology and you have the second house, I had to take that. That's Taurus energy. And I like three cards for you guys. But <laughs> there's that Gemini again. We got the third house here. I just had this on the pre-shuffle for you guys. And it came in the same position. I'm not going to um, ignore this card and this message. There's something here very significant about this third house energy here, the Gemini. So Aries, um, this reading can be for the present time, for something that you are currently coming out of or something that you will be going into here in the near future for some of you guys. And also Tarot. Is um, gender neutral, your kings to be queens, and vice versa. So, I'd like to thank everyone who's liking, sharing, and subscribing me out. Um, here on my YouTube channel, please continue to do so as well as hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I post the content. And don't forget, forget any of my video resonates with you guys. Do hit that like button, it definitely keeps the video in circulation. I had a complaint. So I wouldn't call it a complaint. Let me take that back. I had a comment on one of my recent videos about um, my voice. Someone said that I talk really fast. And that's the first time I've heard that out of the year and a half I've been doing my channel here on YouTube. So um, this is the thing, guys. Like, I've been talking fast my whole life, ever since I was able to talk. My tongue was developed in the South. I live in Wisconsin right now. Um, I was a military brat. I lived in North Carolina with my mom and dad when he was in the military very early on. And I learned to talk. I also lived in Memphis and Mason, Tennessee for a bit. And um, Louisiana did some staying around that area as well. And this all happened within my first five years of life. So my tongue was developed in the South. And then I came back to Wisconsin where I've been mostly all of my, the rest of my childhood and adult life. So, you know, if you're having a hard time understanding me, that was the only comment I ever got like that. But I've been having people tell me that my whole life. So I took no offense to it at all. But I did think I would mention that to you guys. Like, you know, it is what it is. I would try my best since I started my channel to talk slower, actually, for you guys to slow it down a little bit. But, um... Uh, <laughs> with this Gemini energy. I love it. Gemini's an air sign, guys. Your clarifiers here are beautiful. They are popping. So this is the energy oracle deck. I have your astrology cards pulled. I did want to give my spill. I am channeling your energy a lot here, guys, while I'm doing your spread. So without further ado, let's get into your messages, right? We came here to get some messages from the divine. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, lovely, lovely. Aries, action takers, initiators, cardinal fire sign of Aries. You have the third house energy here. And um, this third house energy is Gemini. This is area of your life that's very communicative. Okay, your potential to learn something and your logical mind. All right, the way you think, your local neighborhood. The Gemini here holds a close bond and relationship with the oldest sibling here out of the family so for some of you guys you could be having some type of communication issues with a older sibling or neighbor someone in your neighborhood um the third house is ruled by the planet of mercury the planet of intellect and communication here then you have the thinking man that comes right under that this is telling me that someone here wants to communicate something to you. This is a person here. Um, I think the thank you man to me is, um, this is like the ace of, the, the, the king of swords, shall I say. Um, someone very, you know, logical, who thinks, who makes head over heart decisions here in this Gemini energy, the third house energy. So, you know, this person wants to learn about you, wants to know things about you. This could be someone that is looking into you, asking questions about you, studying you online here. All right. It's someone that you could have a intermingled relationship with their family, close friends, or them with yours, if that makes any sense to you, the way that those cards have fallen here. So it's someone you know. There's some association of some sort near your home. Or one of your siblings. <laughs> so we have the sun energy here. That is Leo energy. The sun rules that beautiful, beautiful, awesome 
zodiac sign of Leo. And it's your immortal spirit here. Your purpose and destiny is involved in this decision that you have to make here. Indecision. What are you indecisive about here? I'm seeing that the energy around you is um, full of potential for new starts here. Okay, there's a lot of vitality here. This is about your destiny, your place in this world. To me, this is DNA activation at its finest, at the core of your being here. This is the sun. All right. So something that's going to be life-changing for you, that's going to affect your physical being and everything in your world here. But it starts at home. This is very something that's indicative again to home. Um, your child, your children here. I'm saying with this energy. Hmm. Let's continue. Get more information about your reading. The second house, your assets, finances, and the things that you value. Second house here is Taurus energy. We're about a beautiful, beautiful planet of Venus. And when Venus shows up in the practical, grounded earth sign of Taurus, you create second house energy, right? And this is your assets, finances, and the things that you value here with this energy as well. So I definitely see that Venus is blessing you with a man holding a heart here. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. When Venus shows up in Taurus, Venus wants to focus on money. She wants to focus on finances. She wants to create things that she's proud of, beautiful things. She wants to be like a decorator, interior decorator. Takes very, very good care of herself. Very pristine here um, with this energy. You have someone that sees you as a empress. You have someone that sees you as someone that can add value to their life through this awesome love connection. Someone that is watching you. Is thinking a lot about you. <laughs> the thinking man and the man holding the heart. Look at you, Aries. Stay showing up for you this morning, my loves. Yes. So you got somebody definitely shook about you. You got somebody that their money is probably doing really well. And I see that they are absolutely shook about you and over you when it comes to you, Aries. And there's something about that fire energy of you that um, you really have your person's attention here. You really have this person wearing their heart on their sleeve for you. And they're making a decision about moving forward, coming towards you. Because this person is going to take you serious. They want a new start with you with that sun energy, right? Number one of the tarot, of the major arcana. Beautiful, beautiful things when the sun is out. That's beautiful. Your cards want to talk already. Uh, so I have one of my decks, my Witches Tarot deck. Oh, my aunt, can I tell you guys how much I like using that deck? These messages jump. Like, they literally, they come out all the time. And uh, they're very, very good. I'm very, very good with these cards and the energy of those cards. Not this deck. This little, little baby deck right here. And, um, yeah, I'm going to pull up this for you guys. If we're going to do an extended, I'll let you know about it. But if not, then I'll get you some pulled right here in the future. <laughs> So we can see what those talking to the little spirits want to tell you about your connection and your person. Spirit, can you get some cards for the lovely, lovely fire sign of Aries? We have a flipper here. Six of Pentacles. Woo! You got someone coming to balance the scales here when it comes to love in your life. Someone that wants to come and give you an equal give and take. Six of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. So you have someone to see you as somebody that can add value to their life and that they want to give an equal give and take. They want to have an equal give and take with here. All right. Queen of Swords. Yep, I was just thinking this as I was pulling the cards. And it came out and it's com confirmation for me that your indecision here, the person and the son of the indecision is your person that you're thinking about this on your mind here um with the second house and a man holding the heart i'm seeing that yeah although the finances are being worked out you know your finances are going to be improving coming your way personally for you but your person having the holding a heart here having love for you but they're dealing with that venus energy in the second house this is something or someone that's attached and tied to their assets here and um I'm saying that this person is a queen of swords or your person could be, you know, experiencing um, some type of separation from someone that's very much attached to their finances right now. This could be your person's breadwinner. Um, you see here your six of pentacles and there's actually a loaf of bread there that's like the breadwinner. So if this person is going to be coming your way trying to breadcrumb you or has in the past... Um, don't accept that you're better than that. This is maybe a situation you're dealing with that you are have dealt with or that you will be dealing with. Queen of Swords here. That is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here. Four of Swords also. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you do have someone that you're in separation from. Um, it's kind of like resting, restoring, relaxation. You've taken time off from this person here. You guys are definitely on break. This could be your person has went in another direction other than the person that they are with. They are walking away from something or somebody going towards something that pulls them a little more closer and what's near and dear to their heart here. So it's like being at a crossroads right now. Your person doesn't really know what to do, but I know what is at the forefront is they want a brand new start with you with that sun energy. Very indecisive about it, but definitely want it. And that's where all the thinking comes in at. Your first two card here. All right, the third house here, the communication of the Gemini needed to communicate, wanting to communicate what they're thinking about. This person is deep in thought over you and over this decision that needs to be made here. This is in your past position here, all right? So right now where things stand at is the current situation that although the situation gives your person life and is full of life and the potential for great things to blossom and come of the connection, your person is very indecisive about this moving forward, all right? Spirit, can we get more messages for my lovely, lovely, fiery Aries? Aries, Aries, Aries. More information for the Aries. Oh, Aries, Aries, Aries. What do we have for you, my loves? All right, I'm going to... Ooh, Ace of Wands, the Sun again. Oh my goodness, a Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I'm done with this deck. Thank you guys, you've done a great job over here. So, as I have your Queen of Swords, your Four of Swords, and your Six of Pentacles here, you know, it's also about setting direct communication. Setting boundaries and direct communication, all right? Because again, you have someone that makes head over heart decisions. You have two thinking cards here. This person is very intelligent with Gemini energy and this all this air energy. This person is very intelligent. You're dealing with someone that's very intelligent, that's a thinker, that really knows how to strategize here <laughs> moving forward. This person has a lot of passion for you. This person is thinking about a brand new start here. Ace of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Your person is thinking about you having a brand new start with you, wanting to come your way because you are double their son here. You know, this person, you give them, I just heard a song by Jacquees, um, you give them a good feeling, like a good thing. Like, they have a lot of passion here for you. The song twice. So this person is flooded and surrounded by your energy, by your emotions. Like, they weren't used to your frequency. This person wasn't used to your vibe. So when they met you, when that contact was made, you put them in a whole different mind and energy space. And you created this Ace of Wands type of moment for this person. This is a lot of passion. This is a lot of fiery passion here. I'm also seeing that they're going to be contract signed. You could potentially even be getting engaged with this person or opening a business here. Um, I say that because you have Taurus energy showing up in the second house. Venus showing up, blessing your finances. Something about you starting a business or business ideas that you have right now at this time. You're going to be very um, fruitful in that. So once you take a leap and a start in that direction of what your intuition is pulling you for, that message is for some of you guys, not all of you, obviously. So going back to your spread here, you have Nine of Pentacles. So you got strong Leo energy, and then you got Nine of Pentacles here. Um, man holding the heart, that's King of Cups energy here, right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. So someone with a lot of emotion for you. Someone with a lot of love for you. Someone that you may feel like a child. You put them in a mind space of when they were younger. You make them feel like they just want to put it all on the line for you. You know, this person is very smitten with you. And um, Nine of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So you're dealing with someone that sees your worth. They definitely see you as independent, single, sexy, attractive. Um, there's a lot of attraction here between you and this person. I'm going to get a Romance Angels card. Nine of Pentacles is Venus and Virgo. So that's more Venus energy showing up. Just letting me know that Venus is ever present here in this reading here. Helping you, working with you behind the scenes to manifest this love when you're Nine of Pentacles. And it's right on. You're a man holding the heart. So you're not going to be single for long. So if right now you're holding resentment against someone for past connections that didn't work out because there was a lack of reciprocity, the universe is sending someone in to correct that for you, to create and spread that balance that had been lost through you sacrificing yourself on behalf of others that were not putting back into you what you were given to them. Codependency here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So what are you addicted to that you need to purge and get out of your life? Is it sex? Is it money? Is it drugs? Is it alcohol? 
you have new love and free yourself. I'm going to take one more card from this deck. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And it is time to take back control of your life with free yourself. I'm saying that free yourself card is free yourself from these addictions. Four of Swords right now. Some of you guys could be in treatment of drug and alcohol treatment. Or it could be coming through a time of... Um, you can be in a time of sobriety right now. You know, from whatever your vice was. From whatever you were indecisive about. From something that was keeping you attached to the 3D, you know, was blocking your blessings, so to speak. Any more messages from the romance angels? Express your love and children. The sun here twice. Yes, yeah, it's someone you guys have children with or you will be having children with. They can be leaving a relationship with a woman that they have children with here or with a wife. Someone could be getting a divorce and have a very, very bitter ex here. All right. Your love life is being affected by children. And um, express your love for each. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. So this person, they do want to come to you. They do want to come towards you and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This person sees you as someone um, of value. You are valuable to them. They can create with you. They see you as someone who is very fertile. You know, with all this imprints, energy showing up. Venus, should I say. <laughs> Sometimes I call these cards by their planets or the planets by their major arcanas. And it's just because where I am right now with my teachings with astrology, you know, and tarot. Any more messages? I want to get you guys some of my Queen of the Moon Oracle cards here for this lovely, lovely, lovely Fire sign of Aries. What messages do we have for Aries here in spirit? First card is like the void. You're definitely with four source energy right now in the void. In the dark, you may feel like you're all alone right now. That life has turned her back on you. That someone has left you out in the cold. But don't you dare. Don't you dare give up on yourself. Don't you dare give up on love. Don't you dare give up on your dreams. You have the ace of wands and a man holding a heart. Don't you dare give up. <laughs> It's just not that type of situation because you got too much going on here. That's good. You have purity, patience, and growth. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up on your dreams. Don't you dare give up on yourself right now. You're in the void. You're you falling back from the situation. Four of Swords. No communication. You falling back from the situation, right? Resting, restoring, relaxing. Some of you guys could have been overcoming an illness or as of recently. I see the void here is just something you just didn't want to participate in life anymore. You're feeling like being alone, maybe not be serving you so well, being left to your thoughts right here. You're just in a mind space of things not working out, things not coming together the way you want them right now, all right? Purity is like allow for the universe to step in and help you. Let's get that card right out the book. 30. I'm knowing what I get when I see that card, but this particular card is like that's going in the book. It says the snow moon, purity of the snow. I like it. One of the only whitest cards in the deck. Look for the simplest and cleanest solution. Understand your motives for doing what you are doing. Be as clear as possible in your communication. I know why I do what I do. Being as clear as possible in your communication is going to be key. Again, that goes back to the Queen of Swords. This is setting boundaries and direct communication. You have to be very clear in what you're communicating because when your person comes through, you're dealing with someone that's very smart. You know, they may be allergic to stupidity and that could be something that may turn your person off or be very unattractive to them. So <laughs> kind of think about what you're going to say before you say it because something about those love jitters and that crush that it's like a deer in the headlight. Sometimes you just don't know what the hell to say when you're in front of your person. So you might want to kind of go over and rehearse what you're going to say um, to this person, how you want to go about saying it. You know, there's a lot of nervous energy here. Your person is really nervous about coming towards you or you're nervous about them one way or the other. There's a lot of connection. There's a lot of attraction here. So it's definitely normal patience. Um, Waiting, being patient about the next moves, the next steps, allowing the universe to guide you, following the signs and the synchronicity. You're on your way, right? And growth here. So there's a potential for growth here in the areas of, again, like I mentioned, the second house energy, which is Taurus, your finances, Venus and Taurus. It's about money, finances, assets, tangible things. So you're manifesting this. You're creating this. You've called this connection and this person in. And because of it, you are manifesting it, right? There's growth taking place on many levels here. Mentally, spiritually, physically, right? 
I like that for you guys. <laughs> okay, spirit, where do we go next? So spirit wants for me to clarify for you guys. Let's clarify spirit for the lovely, awesome Aries. For the awesome, la la la, <laughs> lovely, awesome Aries, and the cards are stubborn. Aries, like you, you can be sometimes. For the lovely, lovely Aries, what messages do we have for my lovely, lovely Aries? Any more messages, spirit? Yep, you got an offer, page of cups, or oh, that's Knight of Cups. Oh, yeah, this person is in love with you, Eight of Pentacles. Not only is this person Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, they are coming in with a love offer. This person is very smitten with you. Your Knight of Cups landed right on. <laughs> I'm talking about right on. Your Knight of Cups jumped right on your boy. Man holding a heart. This person is too in love with you. This person is very smitten with you. Please be careful with this person's heart. They are coming in fast with this love offer here. Knight of Cups. Ooh-wee. Look at you, Aries. You're beautiful, attractive, sexy self. This person is very into you. <laughs> That's what's up. Yes, Eight of Pentacles. Wanting to work on the connection. Going to work on it. Putting in the work. Ooh -wee. You got somebody shook to the core. This person don't know what to do. Like, they may be in a situation right now, but this person has their back turned on that situation. They are coming towards you. They are coming towards their son. They see you as the one. They see you as somebody that they can grow with. All right, any more messages for Aries? Any more messages for the lovely Aries? I want these two. The star and the chariot. <laughs> You're going to be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces, guys. And um, the star here is Aquarian energy. So, yeah, that's beautiful. I'm seeing your person taking off and coming fast. Knight of Cups and the Chariot. There's nothing that's going to stop this connection and this person. This Chariot energy here, that's like, man, that's victory. You know, that's accomplishments. That's like, congratulations. I take my hat off to you. You did that. You're coming through as the Chariot and the stars. Like, you've done that. Working on yourself, you've mastered that. You've mastered this connection because you've done the work and you showed up and you're reading as the Eight and Nine of Pentacles, right? Going from where you were, Six of Pentacles, not having reciprocity, having been bitter, but using that and letting that be the, you know, stepping stone for what you pursue for there and after. It's beautiful. You've had grown a lot. There's a lot of growth here. Any more messages for my lovely, lovely Aries? Spirit, any more messages for Aries? Star energy is wishes fulfilled. You're healing again like that Four of Swords energy. You are definitely healing. There's a lot of healing going on and taking place here in your life and your experience at this present time, Aries. But that's good. Allow for change to happen. All right. Three of Wands and Page of Swords here. So with that Knight of Cups energy, this person is coming forward. There's nothing that anybody can do to stop them with that Knight of Cups and the Chariot. Eight of Pentacles, they're working on it. This person is working hard on it and manifesting here. They're thinking a lot about it. They're very much in love with you. They see you as the sun. They see you as the one that they want. And whatever is going on in their life right now, this person has their back turned on their current situation. They're walking away from it because it's not fulfilling to them, right? Because with you, it's about their destiny. Their destiny is involved. They see you as the one. They see you as the one they want to create with. So this person is coming towards you. You are their star. You are their light. They see you and they want to be a part of your experience. They want to share in on your energy. Whatever you have going right now, whatever you're doing in your life, they want to grow and glow with you. And you're dealing with someone that's very patient here with the thinking man here. You're dealing with someone that's very patient and thinks everything through. Um, your person is also like the three of wands. So your ships are going to be coming in finally after all the hard work here. I see that with this eight of pentacles energy, you have manifested your three of wands. So you're waiting for your ships to come in here. This is a connection or a person or a situation that it's been a very long time coming since things have been able to get to the level of where they are now. But there's something about things ending, the work that you've done on yourself, the way you've manifested yourself in this new energy that you have right now is very attractive. You're attracting your person back. Or for some of you, that's new love. It's a new fiery passion to start here with the sun um, and the ace of wands, major arcana. So it's going to be very life-changing. It's going to be a really great connection for you. It's something that's going to change your life forever. Um, your person is so into you that they are definitely literally watching you. 
So you have a lot of different energies going on here from this person. Um, you got the thinking, man. So this person is thinking about you all the time. You are always in their mind. They want you. And there's nothing that no one outside of this connection is going to be able to do to keep this person's mind off of you. And this energy, my cat is trying to break in one of my doors. I have to let her in. And I'm trying not to stop <laughs> so I don't have to edit for you guys. But, oh, she's terrible. The sun twice. All right. At some point, you met this person and maybe things didn't go through. But ever since this person met you, they felt that connection with you. They felt like that energy, like you were the one for them. Um, you activated that sun in them. You activated that life force energy within them. And that they still have that same energy about you, which is why they're thinking about you so much. And why they've decided that um, they want to manifest you. They're working on the connection. They're holding the heart now. They've fallen in love with you. And through this time and the, the love that they have for you and the way they've been watching you, your social media, how you're showing up to them, they know they want to come forward with an offer because the Page of Wands, Page of Swords, sorry about that, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then your Knight of Cups is like, this person is watching you and they know they want to come in. They know they want to come and offer a cup of love. They know that. Any more messages for the Aries? Any more messages for the Aries from this deck? And then I'm going to get you guys last two and then we're done. So guys, we got five of cups and the devil. This person is not only watching you, they're obsessed with you. Um, at some point you were crying over spilt milk, five of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Capricorn energy with the devil. So I'm saying here that, um, you guys, some of you are definitely away from your person. Um, this person probably, or someone from your past has this devil type of energy about themselves. That's Capricorn energy. So you have to be careful because this person could be so obsessed with you that they would be very controlling of you, very possessive of you. You know, like that devil type of energy. This person is going to be willing to give you any and everything you want to keep you in the connection. You know, put it all on the line for you. Um, reciprocity is definitely key here, but don't allow, don't allow this person to break from you. Um, I don't know if this is your current energy here. We can clarify this over on Vimeo on the extended, the five of cups energy here. That's low vibrational energy. I want to clarify both of these last two cards here, actually over on Vimeo. So I will open that extend it with those cards in mind. So let me get you guys. Kipper Oracle and give you a little glance into what we can expect to look at over there on Vimeo getting those on demand. Spirit, what messages do we have for the lovely? Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, that one went right into the camera. They is not playing journey. Oh man, look at that. You're gonna be taking a journey, a trip with your person. Or well, this can be someone that you've met while you were on a trip traveling. Let's see here, you're taking a journey. Pack your bags. You're going on a trip, a short trip with your person. You're probably going to meet them on a trip, or you have met them on a trip. <laughs> despair. Yep, you got five of cups and despair here. I want one more card from this deck for you guys, and that will be what we will go and address over on Vimeo. Links will be down below in the description box, guys. And thoughts. <laughs> Oh, man, this person is too hell-bent on you with the devil energy here with the page of swords. They're obsessed. They're stalking you or and looking into you, checking on you a lot. I mean, a whole lot. This person is ready to take the trip. Um, and they're in despair about coming towards you. They don't know if you will reject them or not here. Um, they're crying over spilled milk right now because they feel they've missed an opportunity with you. And this person is willing to take the trip to take whatever necessary moves and steps it takes to get to you because their mind space is so clouded right now. They're thinking about you a lot. You're on their mind a lot. They're thinking about you a lot. Look at this. Thinking about you. Despair. Journey. This person... It's hell bent on getting to you. You're all this person thinks about, Aries. You are on their mind, thick and tough. This person is painting pictures of you over and over again in their mind. They're going over scenarios of how they want to be with you, about the love and the passion that they feel for you. This person is like, this is your knight in shining armor. This person has a lot of love for you. Now, I'm going to tell you that we are going to open your extended addressing your devil, all right, and your five of cups and despair. This this is self-explanatory to me. 
when you, your person is in this type of energy, thinking a lot about you. So it's got them down and out there in despair over you. You know what's going on in the world right now. Not working. They have a lot of time on their hands. So that extra time that they're experiencing, that time of quarantine, something about being locked in and the way and the way that they were able to look at you and to check up on you and see you has just made this person just fall in love, period. <laughs> There's just no other way to put it. And it's watching you to the point they're like, yep, this is my person. I got to go for it. This person's like, I got to go for it. I got to get to Aries with this love offer for somebody else beats me to it. So the person's definitely showing up around their heart on their sleeve for you. Don't forget to directly communicate and set boundaries here moving forward with this person so you don't experience those love vibrational energies here that you have felt in the past. And I'm going to get over to Vimeo and clarify this reading for you. Lovely, awesome, amazing beings out there, Aries. Thank you all so much for joining me, my loves. Good luck with your person. Beautiful spread. Um, it's a love story that's very near and dear to me and to my heart because I wouldn't mind having a person like this somewhere wanting to come to me. Like, that's good energy. That's good love. They're going to bring in good vibes for you. But I can tell you that it ain't going to be all peaches and cream. You know, there'll be ebbs and flows. There'll be ups and downs like any connection. But this person is definitely worth it. It's a wish fulfilled for you to star energy. All right, the stars are aligning for you and this connection and this situation is something you've wished and prayed for and you're healing and your person knows that you're healing. It's going to be divine. Thank you guys so much. Namaste.